Good evening and welcome to Mr. Summa Navratnam's 98th birthday celebration. As a past Royal College rugby captain, coached by Mr. Navratnam, and as the current president of the Ceylonese Rugby and Football Club, his beloved CRNFC, it is a tremendous honor bestowed on me to deliver the welcome address. The CRNFC, popularly known as the home of rugby, has been an integral part of Summa Sir's life journey. It is his home away from home, if you will. The club celebrating its 100th year was just two years old when its longest serving honorary life member was born. Whether you are a rugby follower or not, every one of you here today will know that the name Summa Navaratnam is synonymous with Sri Lanka rugby. Many are his deeds on the field, already captured in the annals of Sri Lanka rugby. At the peak of his powers, he was the fastest man in Asia. If I may respectfully and in all fairness observe that his reputation Remain, suggests that he remains one of the fastest men off the field also. In his own words, in the recent CRNFC Centenary uh, Coffee Table book called Tackling Change, he recalls that he met both his brides at the CRNFC after match socials during the club's Halcyon days. Later, off the record, he quipped that it's very likely that Kendall and Nadine were both conceived after similar such celebrations at the CRNFC. So as you can see, it is only appropriate that Summa Sir's 98th birthday celebrations are held here at the CRNFC, his home away from home. Just a word of caution to whoever is dropping him home tonight after the event. Better you drop him at the door and run away. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you. Summa sir, I convey very best wishes from all of those who are unable to be here today from all around the world, who endearingly reminisce their time with you over the years. Enjoy the evening and the CRNFC certainly looks forward to welcome you back again for your centenary year. Wishing you Godspeed. Thank you. Summa. It gives me great pleasure to be here with you, the last of the Royal Great Giants. What I was about to say was said earlier, he was the only one of those who were with my uncles and my father playing rugby and other games. My father once asked me when I was in Royal, somewhere in the mid 60s, 65 or so, how many students are there? And I said 1,500, that's too much, we had only 500. <laughs> I wonder what you'd say if you saw the numbers now. But I've got, I've heard a lot about the times, the memories from my uncle, the bishop, his sir, all of them were there and all belong to that crowd that went down Queen's Road. So my, you have played a good game. And it's an exam for everyone else. Don't give up, keep playing, and do your best. And your best was one of the best for Sri Lanka. But you were a fortunate man. You did all this when there was no Ministry of Sports. <laughs> but nevertheless, it's one that will go down in record. So I have very little I can say about you. I've heard about you from the time I joined Royal. And it gives me great pleasure to be here with you this year. And all the best from all of us here at this hall and the rest in Sri Lanka and outside. Thank you.
Mr. President, friends, fellow members of CRNFC and Royal Fraternity and all my friends who are there, I wish to thank you all for being present today and for having your blessings. Before I begin, I must mean, thank, thank those who have been organizing this, uh, this whatever you call the ceremony for my benefit. I, I wish to thank you all for your presence and I hope you all will enjoy yourselves in the coming. Uh, thank you.